NFL 23. And coming up, we'll see the workhorse, Jonathan Taylor. He was steady for them on the ground a week ago, reaching the century mark and adding a score. It's the Browns and the Titans on Monday night. We come at you from the shores of Lake Erie. EA Sports has the coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Tonight, we wrap up an intriguing week two with a good Monday night matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And CD, you look at the Browns in this matchup. Their offense is a unit that's not afraid to take chances out there and not always for the better. What do you see them trying to do here? I think they'll continue to take those chances, Brandon, but to me, they have to do it in a measured way. And what I mean by that, they can't just come into a game and throw caution to the wind and just say we're going to run a bunch of gadget plays, a lot of reverses, end of rounds, all of those things. They've got to identify the spots where they want those plays to pay off, which means you have to set them up. And then when they present themselves, take full advantage. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. They'll be led out by their six foot four quarterback, the former number one overall pick in 2015, Jameis Winston. Throughout his career, a few have doubted Jameis Winston's ability to throw the football. The concerns, they've always centered around his accuracy and taking care of it. When he makes good decisions on the field, excellent numbers usually result. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. A check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 15 carries, 73 yards. A key component of his team's offense. He will certainly stay in that role if he keeps producing like this each week. Expecting to make a run and not only matching, but exceeding those numbers as this one goes on. Winston's throw there complete to Allen. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Winston. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. They'll run for the first time with Antonio Gibson. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. On third down, Winston. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39. And obviously that's well short of the first. Call it a pickup of three. And also now likely a punt on their opening drive. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So here come the Browns now for their first drive. Leading them out at QB is the former North Carolina Tar Heel, Mitchell Trubisky. Well, he certainly had his ups and downs since being the second overall selection back in 2017. But when he's on, Mitchell Trubisky shows all the attributes you're looking for in a quarterback. Big arm, excellent legs for mobility. His key, being consistent. They'll start out here with the option left. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. It's a jet sweep. Trubisky pops it forward. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. 
They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Trubisky. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. The crowd maybe losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now it's a bootleg with Winston. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Aaron Browning from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. We're certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Winston. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. 31 yards on the punt there. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he's going to pick up the Browns first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he'll be taken down at the 34. The numbers for him from a week ago. 18 carries, 114 yards, and a score. So coming off the opener where they established the run and established it well, their goal is to make sure that the trend continues and to serve notice to the rest of the league that they might be a run-first team. They go to the ground again with Taylor. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now Trubisky to throw. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32. And obviously, we will short the first down. They'll get only a yard out of the end. And bring up fourth down. 
We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Blankenship's kick is good. And the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks at tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has, really. And they come up here now first down. Working out of the gun, Winston. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. To throw again on second down, Winston. And he's going to drop this one down to Gibson, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Jameis now on first down. He completes this to Russell Gage. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Now this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Now they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They go up the middle with Chubb. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop, and it just never materialized, and down he went behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll try to throw now, Winston. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Jameis to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 20-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 
Now they return to the ground game. Chubb. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. From the 16, Winston. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and 10, Winston. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. This carry brought to an end at the 8. Good stick skills, but not much room to operate. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston, and it's caught. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. Going out wide, finds Chubb. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. Oh, look at this play call. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. The trick play does not pan out here on fourth and goal. And the Browns are able to come up with a goal line stand. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. That's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Out of the gun, Trubisky finds his man. It's John Mechie, and he is going to have a Browns first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. The Browns at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they've gotten a pretty good deal from the schedule makers as well. Home dates in weeks one and two. And I would believe that they would need to take advantage of that partner because, as you can imagine, the road dates will pile up later this season. So this is a great opportunity for them to put some early distance on the rest of the division and create a little bit of a cushion for them for later in the year. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the ten, back at the nine. Holding offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Winston now. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Jameis again. 
And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Third and short yardage, Winston. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he will have a Titans first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on 33. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. To throw is Winston. He'll dump that off to Gibson complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I can see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught. 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. To the air again with Winston. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. This one from 46 yards out. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55. But you'll see it just conk off that upright. And they're denied a chance at three points. The Browns drive about to get started. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago, where you see the final score there. Kadarius Toney, up close to 100-yard receiving there. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Miami Dolphins. Deshaun Watson, two touchdown passes as his guys make amends for the setback in week one. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Continuing on, here's a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Titans. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Browns, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And the half will begin with a touchback. So here are the Browns to take over. They got the victory last week. That was against the Baltimore Ravens, and they have the lead here as well. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second down, another run with Taylor. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Trubisky. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. 
has to be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. A first down throw for Winston. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Parker, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Oh, the option to give to Taylor here. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. A well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Throwing here, Trubisky. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your live and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Drops it off for Chubb. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. And right side, they're going to go option here. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. On third down, Winston. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Baron Browning, his second sack of the night. First, you can them all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Here's Bradley Pinion now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And they will take over first and 10. Cleveland offense making their way out. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. 
Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. So a great play there for this highly regarded linebacker making his first career sack. And his versatility on display right there. Look, we've known him primarily as a tackler and a cover man, but he can go get the quarterback when the situation calls for it, as he just did right there. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Running straight ahead, Taylor. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Marcus Davenport in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And collectively, as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Winston. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off-target throws. No rhythm throwing the football. And obviously, no touchdown scored in this game. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Trubisky now down around his goal line. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. On second down, it's Taylor. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Now come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Trubisky. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. They go with Chubb on second down. And some room to maneuver. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hold of it. Yeah, he had great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? A 
How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And Chubble tried the middle here. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Now Winston. Being chased out left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the side. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And, Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken it over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. And we're back now here in Cleveland. Here's a second and two now from the 33. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Trubisky to throw. This will be complete to Mechie. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now that was pretty. They executed that core route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight to sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. First and 10, Taylor now. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's the option play now to the left. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. But I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run the option left side. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. And the ball situated at the nine. Second and goal. Now Trubisky to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Touchdown, Browns! Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead is now 10-3. 
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Jameis to throw it. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing Winston. He finds his target, Allen. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. But that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. The Titans on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This will be third and six. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and 10. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Dances by him. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Braxton Berrios, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And in the end, the finishing touch, an 11-yard run. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Takes it at the seven. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They no longer have the lead after.
after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And that's incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days in Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it was really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time I'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, was, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken at the 18. So call that a 56-yard punt with a return of about 11. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Jameis now on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Throwing again. Winston on second and ten. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Pitts. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Winston now to throw on first down. Caught by Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think. Mean by that? Broke yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Darren Browning, the one who brought him down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. He'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Completes it again to Gage. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty, and now you wonder will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post, and this thing could be over. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at their own 43. Throwing now is Trubisky. That's caught by the tight end, Harrison Bryant. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up the last run got a couple here second and eight again it's taylor the titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten And a short gain down to about the 33. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Second and eight coming up. Defense, 
to the right side. This is Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. A give for Taylor running right side. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. And his kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there and asked for some help. But guys, we still have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. Said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. So for the Browns, they used a favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts.